Back in early 2000, Nademco was planning to release a new set of keypads for their lineup. The new keypads being are the 6148, 6150, and 6160. The 6148 replacing the 6127 and 28, 6150 is replacing the 6137, and the 6160 is replacing the 6139. In early 2000, the first generation 6160 was released for the public, along with the 6160V. This keypad could leave status messages about the system, and you could leave messages to your family members. This was back before texting existed, so it made it much easier to communicate with your family. But supposedly, these keypads were rushed during the design process, and they came with a lot of bugs in the software. Honeywell slash Ademco 6160 first gen bugged out. Little Kato is pointing to the sign saying the keypad is bugged and to avoid it. The regular 6160 sounds different than, than the ones you normally hear today. This 6160 is lower pitch. Like on most older Ademco keypads, the sound would fluctuate depending on the voltage given to the keypad and what angle it was at. This does not affect the 6160V, but affects the 6160. Although this wasn't necessarily a problem, it has been fixed, and it does not do this on the newer style keypads. The older 6160V sounds similar to the keypads you see today, except the voice was higher pitch. Hopefully, you could hear the difference in tones and the voices. Shortly after release of the first generation, Ademco had discovered the bugs and initiated a redesign on the keypad that fixed all of the problems. Even though Ademco was owned by Honeywell, there was not a brand name change until after the redesign. You can still find some redesigned keypads with the Ademco logo on it if you're lucky. But as usual, most of them will say Honeywell on it. And the newest ones will say Honeywell Home, as the new brand Redizio is now controlled and under the Honeywell Home brand. I should also mention that Ademco was, a, was originally owned by Pitway, and in 2000 was acquired by Honeywell. And even after 2000, a Demko brand was not changed and some keypads were still sold with the Demko brand. Later, the keypads were changed to say Honeywell and were merged into Honeywell Home. And now in 2020, Honeywell Home is merged into Redizio. A few years later after the redesign, Honeywell started to give out contracts to different companies so they could sell them their keypads. To companies like ADT and Protection One, they got their own keypads. In the contract, ADT received a Vista 20 PSIA, which is rebranded as a SafeWatch Pro 3000. They also received a 6150 rebranded as a 6150 ADT. They received a 6160PX, a 6160V. 6160PX is rebranded as a 6160 VP ADT and the 6160V is rebranded as a ADT 6160V ADT. Um, hello? Hi, can you please think properly before you talk and also why does your voice change in every scene? Please fix that. Um, okay. Um, I can't really help the part 
of me recording, changing my voice, stuff like that, because I try to be quiet so I don't disturb other people in this household. And yes, I should mention my brain does lag sometimes. So, thank you for the comment. Yeah, sure. Whatever I lost track a few minutes ago anyways. Goodbye. Yeah, um, goodbye? I really need to stop answering these calls. I am losing my mind. Anyway, back to the list. ADT did have a contract for a regular 6160, but these are extremely rare. If you happen to come across one, keep it. These are extremely rare and only a few of them were ever made. The only known person to have one currently right now is Fire Alarm 9200. Switching over to commercial topic is the 6160CR and CR2 series. The 6160CR was released at the same time as the regular 6160, maybe just a few months after the original. These keypads were designed for fire commercial systems and it can be used as a fire control or enunciator. These can be used at residential systems but you're kind of just wasting your money for a keypad since most of its potential is not being used. So if you're going to buy this for a, re for a co residential system, I'd avoid it and just get a regular one. But if you're collecting, then I'd get it. Now, I should mention that these keypads, I believe, only work as an enunciator on the Vista commercial systems that support fire as well as burglary, if I said that right. Um... And as I said before, it can be used on a residential system, but most of its potential is gone. So I'd avoid this on a residential system. Now, continuing on, they did make these at the same time as the original 6160 came out. It is said to believe that maybe a few of them with the Demko logo sounded lower pitch like the original one, but... I am uncertain if that is true or not. Now, you might notice that some of them have the Honeywell logo. This was because the redesign was created a few years after the Honeywell merger and the redesign on the older 6160. So, some of them will sound like a regular 6160 that you hear today and will have Honeywell branding. Now, quite later, after the redesign of the of the newer 6160, they came out with the 6160CR2. This replaces the 6160CR. Now, the only noticeable difference is, is that there is no longer an indent and that there's more lights showing more information about the system status. The next keypad is the 6160RF. The RF is a radio receiver that receives signals from wireless door sensors and motion sensors, and it can, it, can, it can hold up to 16 zones. It is one of the most expensive keypads right under the CR2. The next one is the 6160PX, which is a proxy scanner keypad, which scans a key tag HID key tag that is programmed into the keypad and disarms the system. It's kind of like having a remote, except you just swipe it and it disarms it quickly. Now, ADT had used more of these in their voice keypad. Well, I think I just covered all of it. This is the history on the 6160 keypad and how it became what it is today. Thanks for watching.